Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about transport layer in wireless sensor network. In detail, we are going to discuss about congestion control and handling. Transport layer in wireless sensor network. Each transport layer protocol has to provide end-to-end -end reliable packet delivery. It is also responsible for managing network congestion issues of wireless sensor network. The transmission control protocol that is TCP developed for ad hoc networks are not well suited for wireless sensor networks. It has to be adapted to the wireless sensor network and has to be made to suit for change or environment. Transport layer in wireless sensor network and analogy we are going to discuss. In this diagram, we are seeing the food that is available in the restaurant. It has to reach to the destination, that is to the customer. By ordering the food through the online, the food that is available in the restaurant has been carried by the delivery boy and the delivery boy delivers the food to the customer. Likewise, if we compare the data that is available in the sensor node means, it has to reach to the destination. The data that is available in the source node reaches the destination through the transport layer. That we will discuss in this topic. Transport layer challenges in wireless sensor network. The major Challenges of transport layer protocols used in wireless sensor network are as follows. First challenge, providing reliable data delivery. Second challenge, configuring sensor node to suit for the specific application. Third challenge, high packet loss due to poor link condition. And the fourth challenge is rapid change of network topology. The fourth challenge is multipath routing. Sixth, and seventh is frequent path break in end-to-end -end connectivity due to node failure. Then end-to-end -end error recovery. Play functions in wireless sensor network. A small recap we are going to see. This is the representation of the OSD model for the wireless sensor network. The function of the physical layer is to provide modulation frequency and the channel selection signal processing. The function of the data link layer is medium access and error control, data frame detection, multiplexing. The function of the network layer is to provide routing, networking, topology management. The function of the transport layer is to provide reliable transport of data. The function of the application layer includes data aggregation, interactions with the end users. Data transfer from sender to receiver representation is shown here. In this diagram, the data is available in the sender. It has to reach the receiver. Through the TCP, the data is transferred from sender and it reaches the receiver. It is represented here. Data packet traveling representation is shown here. In this diagram, data is available from node A. It has to reach to the node B. So it takes this path to reach node B. Similarly, from node B, it has to reach to node A. In this Prescribed direction the data travels from node A to B and from B to A. Movement of data from one node to another node is represented here. Congestion situations in sensor networks. In sensor networks, there are some Typical situations that are amendable to congestion. Consider, for example, applications where sensors are 
quite most of the time but start periodic packet generation upon some external event when many sensors recognize this event simultaneously a traffic hotspot around the event location is created on the other hand when the network has a structure in which many sensors report to a few sync nodes the area around the sinks can become a hotspot even if the traffic around the single event locations is bearable congestion control and rate control congestion occurs when over a prolonged period of time more packets are generated than the network as a whole or locally can actually carry the generated packets stored in a buffer here is a representation of buffer overflow usually nodes have some buffer space available which can handle transient overloads any packet in excess of the available buffer space is dropped wasting all the energy spent on this packet so far clearly the larger this buffer space is the more overload can be carried and packet dropping occurs later on the other hand longer queues impose longer end to end delays and the protocols need longer time to react on congestion states here is a representation of a flow of data packets from the source node to the sync node in between that we see the queue of packets waiting for the output link due to transport layer issues congestion handling there are always two ways to deal with the congestion namely to avoid it or to handle if it occurs the first way is rate control packet dropping and the third one is network processing and aggregation rate control here is a scenario of q model of sensor node the rate by which sensor nodes transmit their own sensor readings can be controlled alternatively when this rate is fixed for certain applications the number of nodes generating at this rate can be controlled the third is this control can be executed in an end to end fashion or locally packet dropping when a forwarding node having full buffers receives a new packet it clearly must drop the new packet or an old one from the buffer a node can make a better informed dropping decision when it has some information at hand about the importance of the packet since a sensor network is deployed towards specific applications forwarders know the data they forward and they can compress drop or aggregate it accordingly this is the option truly distinguishing sensor networks from other types of networks clearly other types of networks allow for the mechanisms thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you